Welcome back, everyone. As we've mentioned, the World Health Organization declared a global pandemic a year ago today. And to mark the anniversary, all day we are sharing stories from inside the COVID-19 unit at UMMC. At the height of the pandemic, I got to go inside the hospital and see firsthand what it was like. We're going into the negative pressure ICU at UMMC Hospital with Gabriel Cervera. He's a medical intern and the pressure from the pandemic is enough to push him or anyone over the limit. He was feeling sort of red. He's cared for patient <coughs> after patient. Gabriel risks his life every time he enters the negative pressure ICU. He tested positive for COVID. We did a chest uh, CT on him. And uh, we found that he has pneumonia, so we admitted him. Fortunately, he has been responding good to the treatment. He's been feeling better. What sort of treatment are you giving him? So we're giving the math plus protocol, that it's the, the treatment that we do here. Uh, it consists of steroids, vitamins. Through it all, inside the COVID unit, I prefer to tell them myself. Gabriel brings positive energy, but like many, when he goes home, he can't leave the negative pressure behind. Sometimes I cannot even rest at night because it's everything is on my head. Like, why did this happen? What's going on? With, uh, what's going to happen with the family? It was, it's hard. So you're not only physically drained, but emotionally as well. Yeah. Yeah, that happens because sometimes it's frustrating. Uh, it's frustrating to see that these people are dying very fast. Some people are young. Despite all of her efforts, we tried to bring her back, but unfortunately she passed away. Gabriel has been fighting this virus since he moved to Houston, right after he finished med school in Mexico. Here's a photo from his last day. Like a lot of people, Gabriel didn't get a graduation ceremony because of COVID. And because of COVID, sometimes he questions if he can muster up the strength to keep going. I feel like drained emotionally, mentally, physically. Sometimes I just want to quit. Like it's, I think it's just too much. But then again, I wake up the next morning and the other patients that we have, it's like we still need to try for them. And you know what? I was uh, texting Gabriel yesterday and he said the day we interviewed him was one of the worst days of the pandemic, at least for him and stuff. A lot of healthcare workers felt what Gabriel felt and they were up against the wall ready to, to just give up. But obviously we know they've pushed through. I mean, can you blame them just for all of the healthcare workers watching us today? We salute you. We appreciate Thank you. Even you. a year later, we really, really appreciate everything you're doing. Absolutely, Steph.